James, what does this honor mean to you in general? Um, uh, it's very special for me. It's something that uh, I didn't expect. It's something that you, you play the game and you just play it as hard as you can and do the best that you can. And hopefully things will turn out for the best. And you know, when you're able to reflect back on your career, these are some of the special moments that you can cherish. success stories this team has had. What do you think made that a good fit for you right away? How did it work? How did the personalities work? You come into the team and make it fit. Uh, I think just the whole organization just welcoming me, welcoming me in, and the players just treating me no different than any other players that were in the locker room. I think it was a more of a family atmosphere. And, you know, they just made me feel at home, and you know, the coaches were great. They all, you know, wanted me to succeed. So, you know, I felt the, I felt the love here. And, you know, that's why we were successful. In that moment, did you think one day you'd be considered among some of the greatest defensive players really ever? Oh, not at all. I, I never even thought about that. You know, going back, looking at the, the history of the Pittsburgh Steelers and the legacy that they, you know, founded was, you know, to some of the things that they did in the 70s and with those great teams, like, I never even had any inclination that, you know, I'll be anywhere close to, you know, being in a certain space with those guys and, you know, having this honor is, uh, and being with those, all those great guys and great players from over the years is something really special. James, what's your fondest memory being a Steeler? Oh, I mean, two championships, uh, probably the, our greatest accomplishments, but uh, really over the years, just what I cherish the most is the relationships that I have and developed over the years. And I have lifelong friends from these, all the teams that I've been on. It's something really special. Guys, we keep up with each other. We're on, we have big group texts of you know former players and guys that have played together. And, I think the camaraderie and the relationships are the most. How cool has it been to see some of your former teammates get into coaching? You know, you've got Deuce Staley and Antoine randall L over on the Oh, it's the great. We have plenty of them, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of guys out there coaching, uh, but you could tell, some guys you could tell right away, like, who was going to go into the coaching world and who was fit for it. And, you know, those guys are doing an amazing job, and it's just happy to see them doing well and thriving in, you know, in another position. Never something you wanted to... No, I have too many kids, man. I have too many kids. They're all young and they love daddy, so yeah, I'm going to be daddy daycare for a little while. At the same time, how cool was it to see Troy get into the Hall of Fame and Bill and Coach Cowell? Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, you know, those guys deserve it. Uh, coach Cowell was a great coach, one of the best coaches I've ever had. And Troy was one of the best safeties I ever played with, so, you know, those guys were amazing when they coached and played, and I was glad to be a part of them. When you find out who you're being inducted into the Steelers Hall of Honor, what's going through your mind when you find out? Oh, man, it was during COVID. So, you know, when I got the call from Mr. Rooney, I thought I'd, he wanted some of that signing bonus back. So, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know why he was calling, but uh, it was definitely a surprise. And I really didn't know what to think. So I had I had a good while to think about it. And, you know, during COVID, when it was, you know, the first, uh, when the lockdown started in 2020. So, I had a lot of time to reflect, but you know, it was just an amazing feeling and it was unreal. And like I said before, I never expected to be uh, put into a category, you know, with all the other great Steelers from the past, but you know, it's definitely an honor and something that um, I'm definitely proud of. Was there a Steelers player maybe before you got here or once you got here from the past that you either Kind of connected to or, or tried to look up to? Well, when you think about the Steelers, the first thing the name I think about is Mean Joe Green. So, <laughs> and uh, you know, he was a uh, he when he was uh, around us, we, we were around him a lot. He worked in the uh, the front office, so I got to see him a lot, and I've known him over the years. And you know, he's somebody that you know everybody looked up to when they were a kid. So, you know, it was kind of cool to you know finally meet him and be a part of you know something that he was a part of. And, other than him, uh, I would have to say Greg Lloyd also. Not that he's in, it's pretty cool that he's uh, in my uh, honoree class because uh, he was one of the most feared players when I was in college and high school. I thought he was just uh, one of the most intimidating players I've ever seen and I, I always looked up to him. So it's pretty cool to go in with him.